what's needed in Scepter Wars. Play Astro Blaster. If you destroy my city, if... Uh, 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 uh. Alert. The intruder must not escape. Dragon's Lair. A fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight. She will be a scorpion soon. Prepare to qualify. Oh, warrior needs food badly. Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. Hi, folks. Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Minky Monkey, and this was Technos' first game, released in 1982. Minky. What? You said Minky. That is correct, yes. Chimpanzee Minky. Well, this is a really weird game. You control this really strange looking guy, and you have to follow the directions of this monkey at the top to move fruits to certain windows that will appear. And they call them messages, I don't know why. But you need to do it five times successfully to complete a level. And if you screw up five times, and you could screw up by allowing another monkey that is deadly to touch and throws rocks at you, he can screw up your work. And if he uh, destroys the fruits that you're trying to collect, that counts as a failure, and if you fail five times, you will lose a life. But let's, uh, we'll take a look at uh, the, game the gameplay in just a moment here. This is also licensed to a company called Rollertron Corporation, but this was created by uh, Technos Japan. And again, this was their very first game. You get an extra life, I think, at uh, 20,000 there. Uh, but yeah, you have to uh, you have to uh, um, bring the fruit to the window that will appear. And you see at the top it says "Bring up," and that means bring the fruit up to the window that will appear and yeah that other monkey is trying to trying to screw up your progress he'll throw rocks he can touch you and kill you um, eventually there will be a soda that you could collect and turn the tables on the monkey and you can kill him for a short amount of time uh, yeah if he touches you or if you fall to the ground you will die. So you have to hang on to uh, vines. We'll get started. So yeah, if the monkey messes with uh, one of your fruits, then uh, that'll end up counting as a failure because uh, you won't, you might not be able to uh, complete your task if you had to uh, collect two fruits and deposit them in the right places to count as one success, then if the monkey messed with one of those fruits, it would end up counting as a failure. See, he's gonna reach that lemon there, and I'm gonna... it's gonna be a failure because I had to deposit two fruits to two different locations and I couldn't do it. There's that soda that I can collect and turn the tables on the monkey. For a short time, I can uh, touch him and kill him for points. But, uh... I have two failures, but I was able to complete five successes first, so I win. And for the bonus points, you get the level number times the time remaining times 100 points. 6100 points! From the second stage on, you will see a uh, flying lizard, or a, uh, I guess a dragon, kind of goofy looking dragon. Uh, any contact with him will kill you, uh, unless you drink the uh, soda pop. But you won't be able to kill him. Uh, you'll be able to go through it, though. Uh, you can drop, notice, there I got the soda pop, you can drop straight down off a ledge, 
onto another ledge and not die, but if you drop down to the bottom, then yeah, you'll die. Oops. I think my uh, invincibility power wore off, or maybe the uh, monkey can still kill you with uh, thrown stone. One thing I really don't care for about this game is that I'm not sure which side the uh, monkey is going to appear at. Damn it. Yeah. You've got to get the uh, soda pop anytime you see it, because that monkey will keep trying to uh, screw up your attempt at a success. And there I completed it. Now, the further you can get in this game, the more points you can potentially score, because uh, you get the uh, bonus of... Uh, what is it? Um, the level number times the time left times 100. So the higher the level, the more points you're going to be able to score. You can... Uh, now you notice that the uh, the dragon is uh, just going up and down between the uh, between the uh, vines or whatever they are. But yeah, if you touch a fruit that isn't part of the uh, success you're trying to complete, then it will just fall. So you'll want to touch the other fruit and place it in the uh, little window that will appear. And again, you just look at the top where it says, oh, dang it, where it says bring up or bring down, and you'll see that window that you need to bring it to. But yeah, I never know for sure which end the monkey is going to uh, first appear. And if he appears first near the fruit that ugh, oh, bastard, near the fruit that you want to uh, pick up, he's just gonna knock it right off, and you'll score a failure. That little monkey really pisses me off. This game is kind of hard, unless you get lucky with uh, where the monkey's gonna appear. get an extra life. I think it said at 30,000. Well, this will pr put me pretty close. Uh, when you die, your time does not reset. Notice that. Uh, not quite 30,000. But, uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this game at all. Uh, not knowing which side the monkey's gonna appear on kinda sucks. And, uh, some of the jump mechanics are really kind of lame, too. Um, wow, why did he not go after the fruit? Well, well now he does. Uh, but yeah, trying to jump, uh, sometimes uh, sometimes you don't jump as far as you'd like to, and they're all kill him again. Kill him whenever you can. I mean, get that soda and kill him. Oh, that was close. Uh, again, if you drop to the ground, the very bottom, you're dead. So you have to land on a platform or catch a vine. Yikes, let's go back and get that soda again. Kill the monkey. Yeah, if you just walk right off the edge of a platform with a vine in front of you, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, you don't jump as far as you'd like to. Yeah, if you drop straight off a platform with a vine in front of you, you will not catch the vine. You will just drop straight down. And that really sucks. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of this one. But it could be worse for Technos' very first game. And you get to line up your uh, letter of choice, and the monkey will throw a stone at it when you select it. But that is Technos of Japan's very first game called Minky Monkey in 1982. And you can choose to continue from the stage you left off of, but I'm not going to do that. But you try to get five successes before you get five failures. If you get five failures, you lose a life. You 
touch the monkey, <laughs> uh, get hit by a monkey's rock, fall to the bottom floor, uh, touch the dragon, you're dead. Just not that good a game. Oh, you get an extra life every, at 20,000 points. But that was Minky Monkey by Technos of Japan in 1982, their first game. And this was suggested by YouTube user simply known as Splatter. Well, this is Crazy Clamor saying thanks for watching Minky Monkey by Technos of Japan in 1982. I will see you later in the future with my next video. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.